we're gonna cut the main support out now. Center post. Boom. If all goes well, it'll be on YouTube. Scott Brown here. In today's exciting episode, we're gonna use this timber here to make a new opening. It'll all make sense in a minute. Ah. And this is the opening. That's coming out and it's gonna be one big frame. So one big window can go inside it. So you can see the frame now. And before we start pulling all of that out and replacing it, let's look at the challenge that we uh, face, shall we? There's your wall frame there. Your truss comes down like that, and then it goes like that. So all the weight's sitting on that wall right there like that. So we need a support in here on wherever we can find a ceiling pattern. So we're thinking like there, that'll be our temporary support but then all of this will be hanging because that won't be taking anything. So we also need to put some support there. But the thing is, there's a frame there that is attached to the frame that we're taking out, right there. So that is our challenge. We need to probably remove the Safit and then get a support up here to take that. And then we're able to safely remove this without worrying about this falling down. Let's do it. Right, and there's your frame. That's the part I was talking about that's nailed onto our frame that's coming out. Okay, so it's easier to see this side of the wall. The other side of the wall in here. Ceiling bed in there. Well, three, 390 to the center. Would that be too close? Yeah. So there we go. That same measurement from the underside. That's where we put our support. Okay, let's have a look. Got these blocks here. What we're gonna do with them is put them up here. We've got this six by two here and it's supporting the Safit frame. And then I've cut these blocks. I've cut these blocks because we need to support this truss up here. Right now it's hovering. So I've cut this to go here like this. Wow, oh my God. Are you amazed, Pater? Can't believe my eyes. I can't believe your eyes. So there you go. Now that weight is going from the roof, off that wall, onto here, onto there, which is onto there. And then that pole goes down onto the nail line of the joist. And the joists go on the bearer, and the bearer goes on the post, and the post goes into the ground. And everybody's happy. All right, let's see what you got with the beautiful hammer there. Oh my god, look at that, it's All like right. magic. It's here for a day. Alright. Show us what you got, Potter. Magnet. Oh my god. The Vaughn Hammer. Strikes again. Magnet. Bang. Propped up. Both sides. Line the props up as closely as we can to the trusses above. As long as the pole goes onto something solid, you're A-OK. -okay. The scary part now, Pato? I think we're good. Feeling confident? Yeah. All right, well, let's press the cord and you guys can watch it fall over. Really fast.
We're gonna cut the main support out now. Center post. Boom. If all goes well, it'll be on YouTube. <laughs> In both <laughs> cases, if it goes bad and if it goes well. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oh, carrying the cross. Okay, so that paper up there needs to close the wall frame off all the way up to the roof space. So put it on first, and then our big beam will go up, hard up to it. That way we don't have to try and feed the paper between the between the framing. So now we're able to use the same studs because the only change we're making is making the beam wider, higher, I guess you could say. It's, instead of being down here like the old one, it's gonna go all the way up there. A nice wide piece of timber that part of was cutting. The moment of truth, Paddy, the moment of truth. So, we don't actually have the new windows, so we're putting the old windows back. But the opening's ready. That's how you do a, um, a new opening for a bigger door. <laughs> He barack, and then he's like, <laughs> <laughs> What do you do? Do you just film and then you get it? Alright, I've got to start. Yeah, yeah, and then I screenshot. So I look like I'm really fucking burning? Yeah. Done. That's a good one. Good thumbnail. It's a clickable thumbnail. Power it out, dude.